cake, wasn't it? Times. Reckon they fancy a day at the seaside. Padlet. They're not careful. <laughs> How'd you get on, Owen? Not bad at all. Come and have a look. Reconnaissance of Sector 13 completed. No disturbances. Request permission for Alpha 6 to proceed to Sector 12 and Alpha 7 to Sector 19. Over. Permission granted, Alpha 6. You may proceed, over. Understood control. Alpha 6 out. Transmission in 45 minutes. Good. Why should I? Something I gotta do, haven't I? Well, let me go with you. Huh. There's other lads younger than me. They help. Why can't I? There's something. Something you've got to face. Hold on to. It's about your life. What do you mean? Something waiting for you. You've got to be there, ready when it happens. When what happens? I wish I could tell you, but I can't. All I do know is. You've got to live for all of us. Go, go get chapel. Hear what the knights have to say. Go on. Hey, Gervais. When you see your mom, tell her. Tell her I'll be all right. After his father. You reckon? Oh, yes. He'd be very proud. <laughs> Tell me, is it now for him? It begins. That's all. How will it end? God only knows. I have to go back now. To the wasteland? Yes. We'll never get through. The knights control all the roads, uh, the valleys are crawling with them. There's always the sea. That looks a good boat, that one of yours. Ivor! 
I'll see you as soon as I could. Oh. Four. You've done well. Very well. Go. Who gave this to you? A teacher, Mr. Williams. Good or bad, well. Let's have a look, Owen. It's from Jones. As Jones is writing, no doubt about that. Aye. Ivar, hold that in. Something I don't like about this, you know. Huh? Ah, me neither. Still, if the knights aren't on to him, we've got to protect him, haven't we? That's all there is to it. We go in with our eyes open. Just in case. Oh, come on. We can't be too careful. Right, till we fit. Aye. Let's cover this lot up and get moving. Just let's hope he makes it. This way, Father Brian. We'll be on the air in three minutes. Thank you. Gut for them. Why so bad? He said he had something to do. Oh, God. Come on. Let's go. Get in. Chavez. No. What to do with this then? Wait it when you're told to. Only one did. Quiet, everyone. Quiet! Right. Switch it on. Stand by, Father. People of Anglia, on this day of joy and celebration, I speak to you from our capital city in Winchester. And my words are for you all, present friend or late foe, in the tragic, needless, and futile civil war we have endured. I speak to you in the fenlands of Cambridge, in the rich fields of Kent, in the downlands of Sussex, to all who will once more plough, tend, and gather in our food. It is you who will give us again our daily bread. I speak to those of you in the cities and towns of the Midlands, on whom we rely to forge again from the ruins, a great industrial heartland from which will come our wealth and our weapons. I speak to those of you bravely rebuilding London, I know the cost of your labor, to work without supplies, to look at your machinery lying idle for lack of fuel. All this I know. But when your great work is done, it will have been your labor, your sacrifice, that will make that city worthy to be our heart and our capital once again. And lastly, I speak to those of you in Wales. Hear me. Listen to my voice. Those few of you who have grown rich by terror and banditry. This war is over. And we want no more of it. You cannot. Dare not revive it. Your time is past. And it will never return. To you I make this last appeal. Take this final chance. My patience is exhausted. Join us or suffer our wrong. To all my people then, a beginning, 
rejoice at it. And an ending. An ending to the years of civil war that have racked us, drained us with their slaughter, wearied us with their privations. Celebrate it as we build our great nation anew. And we, the Knights of God, will rule you with strength, with wisdom, and with justice. This I swear to you. flags. Celebrate. Wave your flags. The war is over. where you're going. Now get them out of here. Out! Jonesy! Over here! Must want us to go down there. Come on. Just a minute, hold it's on. It's all right, Ryan. He's on his own. Come on. Magnificent speech. Thank you. Situation. Well, we swept through Wales. Complete coordination, complete surprise. Complete success. Yes, Father Proud. A few pockets of resistance. We'll soon clean them up. And their leader. We'll get him. He's got nowhere to run to now. What about this? This still remains, doesn't it? You haven't swept through that yet. We're ready to. My men call them the wastelands. They will be too when I've finished with them. They divide the country. So, let them be. They serve our purpose in the short term. They act as a buffer between the north and the south. My brothers, all this north of the wastelands I have called Northumbria. Those people wanted this war. 
Well, now let them taste the bitterness of their defeat. That land is now a howling, desolate emptiness which I give to you, my brothers, to colonize. The Northumbrian people will be your servants, bound in service to the knights of God for all time. You will keep the peace among these barbarians. And I fancy our head of internal security, Brother Hugo, will not question your methods too closely. <laughs> I hold many gifts. Your rewards are at hand. A great man, Father Brown. Now we must see what we can do to take some of the weight off his shoulders. <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir. Who sent you? Officer Commanding Seagroup. Said I had to help. Something to do with identification. Sir, what? Just a minute. I've been posted here for some time. I know who most people are. All right. Get on with it. Fill in their names. Where are they going? Men and women under 50 will go to the work camps. Children under five have gone with their mothers. Anybody else will go to the education and retraining centers. Split them into three groups. Five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty-year-olds. Right. Anyone can wear fancy dress when there's a party. They've taken Mam. I know. Don't worry about it. She's playing her part. I'm playing mine. This is yours. A new name for your boy. Get used to it. Llewellyn Ab Griffiths? It's not a bad name. And listen, from now on, hang on to it. It's who you are. You don't know me. You've never heard of me. <laughs> Education and retraining center 15. Come on. That's you. Come on, move it. Look after yourself, boy. And remember what I told you this morning. Whatever they throw at you, live through it. Haven't you got them sorted out yet? Quick as I can, sir. Get that lot on the truck. You will go with them. Transport officer will get you back. I can't go with them, sir. I've been ordered to return to my unit at Canab. Don't argue with me. You will go to Carnarvon when I tell you and not before. Now get on that truck and sort out those ID tags. Sir. Ashamed of yourself, you should be, Mr. Edwards, wearing that uniform. Just wait till I tell my mum and dad. Control to Alpha 6. Where are we? I don't know. Going north, I reckon. Idiots. Who's jumped this one up? Coming through here in broad daylight. Could be 20 to 30 nights in there. I don't think that's very clever. Reinforcements for Weatherby, I reckon. Way up. They stopped. the hold up. We're making up a convoy coming to the wasteland. There's no other way through, not to come out the other side. Oh.
quedé con Max. with you then? No. You've got to go on. Yes, but I... I've said it. And there's an end. Do you remember, boy? Live. For all of us. You've got to. Well enough, put it first. Pardon? Cluedlin? Cluedlin? Live, boy. Live. 